Hello everyone, in this video we are going to create uh, secrets manager to store the credentials of, uh, of ActiveMQ which we have created uh, in the previous video. So let's go ahead and search secrets manager in the search bar. So secrets manager is showing up, let's click on the secrets manager. So uh, this, uh, this is not a free service, there will be some charge, you could see 0 0.4 dollar per month. So let me go ahead and create a secrets. So if, if he wants to, uh, you know, pay some price, they can go and create this. So let's give the uh, key value, key is the name of the user which have given the test and the password will be my first, first active MQ at one, two, three. So we are creating the secret key value. So that means this, this value will be uh, this is the password which will be stored in the secrets way. So there is a different, uh, default encryption uh, encryption key which is provided by the secrets manager. You can create your own encryption key, but I am going with a default encryption key which is provided by the AWS. So here, uh, this secrets manager it supports uh, different different um, database. You could see the RDS, document DB, uh, credentials of that shift clusters, and other database. But as you are not uh, connecting to any database, we will go with uh, other type of secrets. So mind, uh, uh, be careful when you are selecting this option. So it will be other type of secrets. You have to pass the username and password on that. So let's go and um, uh, click on the next button. So I'll give the name will be, uh, let's say POC slash ActiveMQ. And uh, this is to SS. Active MQ credentials. Then uh, the key will be I'm not keeping anything, edit points and no need anything. Then go ahead and click on the next. So here you have some advanced features like you could uh, uh, rotate the secrets, uh, automatic rotations. So I'm not going, I'm going to go in the default option which is disable. Uh, if you enable it, you have to pass the lambda functions, you have to create and you know, as per that you have to uh, write the lambda functions to rotate the password. So again, there will be there will be some mechanism which is provided with the secrets manager where the secrets manager itself provides the lambda functions and rotate it in case of if you selected some RGS database. So we are going for the disable and click on the next. So here you can review it, what you have watched during the setup. So we are good. Again, this the sample code is written. If you are going to access to the secrets manager, you can go ahead and write these sample codes uh, in your in your in your uh, you know in your client uh, in your applications or in your client applications where you are going to access the secrets manager. So you can download the SDK uh, for different different language. Again, we don't need anything as you are going to do through the Lambda functions. We we'll go ahead and create the store. So the secrets manager is <coughs> got created. So in the next video, we are going to we are going to trigger uh, the active MQ from the lambda functions and assign the secrets on that lambda functions. So see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.